All hell of beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Yes, man, we all back for yet another video, and this time I wanted to bring you something different. See, I recently dropped a list on my top 10 spring designer list. I also dropped my top 10 spring niche list, and I decided to hit y'all off with something different because you asked for it. Therefore, I'm bringing you my top five spring fragrances I never mentioned. Now, for a fragrance to make this list, it had to be in my collection for at least a year. So that way I have some time to spend with it, make sure it really works before I bring it to you guys out there. So if you're ready for the list, then let's get down to it. Now, the first fragrance on today's list is no stranger to the fragrance community, but it hasn't made a ton of my list in a long, long time. This one has pedigree, it has musk, and it also has neroli, which is not my my favorite note but I do enjoy it in this fragrance this fragrance hails from Terry Mugler and it's none other than Mugler's cologne now Mugler cologne is a great fragrance that you can wear especially straight out of the shower it really thrives in in spring and summer environments as it kind of just drifts off of the skin this one was made to smell like some type of hand soap and I think this one comes off extremely clean now if you know anything about fragrance this one is a bit more difficult to find with inside of retail stores so you may have to just go out there and blind buy it now here's the thing this one can be found for well a relatively inexpensive price online so I will leave some links down below for you but if you're looking for a fragrance that's clean Fresh out of the shower, you can wear it to the gym. You can wear this one out and about, hitting the beach when this quarantine thing is all over. Or if you're just kicking around the house, this is definitely one that you can rock. Mugler's Cologne. This next fragrance on the list is one that I know for sure I have never talked about on this channel. I definitely have not talked about the brand, as many of you do not know that I own fragrances from this uh, fragrance house. But this fragrance hails from MFK, and this one is Lumiere Noir Pour Oh, now this one is this warm, spicy, aromatic scent, and it has some floral notes in this one as well. This one is a great spring and summer scent that I never ever talk about. Now this one comes off to be clean to me as well, but you have to like florals just a tad bit or you won't enjoy this thing. I think overall this is a solid release from the house and it tends not to get as much conversation as some of the others out there. Obviously you have uh, Baccarat Rouge, which also gets most of the love as this one just tends to play in the back seat. But if you're looking for a fragrance that you can rock spring and summer and be A-OK -okay without being like everyone else, then this is definitely one that you can grab for. Those of you out there really wondering about this fragrance, I would say this one is probably best suited for those who are 25 and up. Not saying that you can't get away with this one if you are younger than that, but I think that if you are in a professional type of environment, this is one that you could be for a daily wear. The price point on this one as well makes it also unattainable for some of the younger people out there as, as with most MFK fragrances, they are not cheap. And this one is no different. But this one is a solid entry into the house if you're just looking to explore, then look no further than MFK Lumiere Noir Pour Own. This next fragrance brings us to our midway point on this list, and this one hails from Bentley. And Bentley is known most of all for their cars, but they also dip and dabble into the fragrance world as well, and they also have some furniture too. And that's really expensive. <laughs> but unlike the furniture in cars, um, the fragrances are way on the opposite scale. All right, so you can pick these things up for fairly cheap. And this one is a solid fragrance. This one comes from Bentley, obviously, and it's Infinite Rush. Now, Infinite Rush is a fresh fragrance with hints of spices. And you also have some nice citrus and wood notes in this one as well. It has the top notes says boom, punches you with some black pepper, and you also have that bergamot in the top as well, and then it transitions into this nice, 
airy, uh, woody scent. I think this is solid fragrance for spring and summer, and one that I really, really talk about. I think it's probably been a f maybe at least two years since I mentioned this fragrance on the channel. I think if you are looking for a fragrance that you can wear as a daily driver, you can wear it to the gym when gyms reopen, or if you're just having a home gym in your house, this is definitely one that you can wear. You can also do this one, um, again, daily wear or into the office. I think that extra pepper in the top of this makes it something that is a bit more sophisticated without being too serious. So definitely what you would expect from Bentley is quality. And I think that you have quality in this fragrance. Now for the price point that it's going for these days, I think it's a steal and a bargain. I'll leave it linked and listed down below for some of you who want to check it out, but definitely having a Bentley in your collection because you can walk around telling people I have a Bentley. <laughs> so there you have it man, Bentley Infinite Rush. This next fragrance on the list is one that was originally released in 2012 specifically for women. However, over time this one has transitioned into a unisex scent. Now there are some people out there that say Big Beard B scent has no gender. Well, if you feel that way, then this fragrance is definitely for you. This one is a spring and summer fragrance that you can get away with that is floral heavy, and it comes from Killian, the master of these dark fragrances. This is one that's uplifting. This one is Water Calligraphy. To me, Water Calligraphy is this earthy aquatic scent and I know those are two different ends of the spectrum but I think this is really falls a line so you have a lot of aquatic notes in this one and you also again have massive punches of floral in this fragrance as well and I think it really works so this is one that I don't talk about much as I tend to shift most of my love for this house to things like Black Phantom, Back to Black, Intoxicated, Gold Knight. It, you see where I'm going with this thing here. And this one is just a different twist. I don't think this one is better than other fragrances that I talk about, like um, Killian's uh, Miami Vice. I think that one is, is a super, super solid spring and summer, more so summer fragrance. But I think that this is definitely one that you can get away with. Water Calligraphy, Bamboo Harmony, any of those types of fragrances are great fragrances for the spring and summer that don't get much talk about in Fragcom. So if you're looking to smell great, stand out from the crowd, and not smell like everyone else, this is definitely one that you could try. Water Calligraphy from Killian. Now we are down to the final fragrance on today's list, and this is one that is probably not on your radar, but it may be after this conversation. This one is a fresh, fruity floral fragrance from Ex Neo, and the name of this thing is amazing. This one is Fleur Narcotique, okay? Yes, man, this is like a flower drug, okay? And I think that this fragrance is amazing. In my personal opinion, this is by far the best fragrance on today's list. And it's also not cheap, all right? I really don't talk about this fragrance much, and this is one that I like to keep to myself, but because you and I are cool, we could talk about it today. All right, man, so if you are looking for a fragrance that's, that's sweet, it's fresh, inviting, have hints of floral that is going to help you with the ladies, and this is one that you can definitely grab. This one isn't extremely popular, so there you go. That helps as well. You're not gonna smell like her ex or anything like that. This one is also made to be a unisex scent, which means that the ladies will like this one a bit more as well. So I think that you can rock this fragrance spring, summer, and be a okay. Okay. This fragrance has a ton of notes, bergamot, peach, jasmine, musk, moss, orange blossom, and the list goes on. This is a super nice fragrance to have in the collection. You guys thought I was gonna say super duper, didn't you? Because I was. <laughs> but no, man, um, I'm happy to have this one. I feel like this one is missing in a lot of people's collection out there, so grab it, get your nose on it, get a whiff. These are five fragrances that I don't talk about much, all right? So if you're looking for a solid spring and summer list and you're like, yo, Big B B, you mentioned the other ones in the list too much. Listen, man, this list is for you. Listen, you're indoors right now. You have some time to explore some fragrance houses, and that's what I want you to do with this one here. All of these fragrances, I stamp and verify solid 
official fragrances to have in the collection. So that's all I have for you today. These are five fragrances that are great for spring that I never discussed, and hopefully you learned a little bit. So there you have it. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again. Listen, man, if you're going to grow this thing to a million, then I need you to tell them to hit the goddamn bell.